Hello and welcome back to Wisdom for Couples. We know we hadn't been here in a while. Why? We had a baby after Thanksgiving and around Thanksgiving we had our renter to abruptly overnight move out. So we had to go deal with that situation. And so our anniversary came up. Well, we got the house rented out in January. Our anniversary and birthdays, Valentine's and all that happened in February. So it's been a busy, we'll see, November, December, January, and February. Kind of fell off some of our habits. So this video is about reestablishing and also, surprisingly, creating some brand new awesome habits. So we're going to talk about some of the habits that we reestablished because it's awesome how God does things, right? Because He's all about a balance. He's about He's about body, mind, and soul. He said, uh, "He was above all things that we prosper, be in health, even as our soul prosper." But why don't you tell us what God showed you about laying in bed at night watching TV? The best thing to do uh, you don't have to worry about breaking on that eating. I'm about now watching the commercial. There you go, watching mm -hmm. everything on Roku. And uh, what was that? Netflix. Uh, Netflix. Yeah. Yes. Netflix pre-record uh, the stuff that you can fast forward through the. Um, right. Like even if you're watching uh, games, pre-record them and then you fast, fast forward them. through the commercials. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times it's just temptation. We don't be hungry, mm -hmm. but you're watching all these commercials about food. And so you're like, okay, I'm getting that tomorrow. Or you may break and say, look, let's just get up and go get it. Mm -hmm. You know? Go in, go in the kitchen to get something. Yeah, go in the kitchen to get mm -hmm. something. You're like, uh, you start thinking about, okay, what can I have as a snack? And it's so, nine so o'clock. So we really found a, a way to overcome the lust of the eyes. Right, right. And let me tell you, watching the games during the playoffs and not having a snack. Amazing. Amazing. Amazing accomplishment. Yes. Amazing accomplishment to watch games, two and three games at night, and you're having water, mm -hmm. <laughs> ice, and you're not eating. So, anyway, we finished today. It's day 22. We have completed all 21 days, and we are happy to say we did not break. We didn't break. We didn't break. So, we accomplished that goal. So, we feel like we're back on our path to that good habit of not eating after dinner no snacking or anything after dinner but then God did something so amazing we're only going to talk about this one thing maybe two uh, because we don't want the video to really be too long but one thing that really got me was if we are going to eat chips get back to the good chips and get it back to the weekends only. We did eat what we want to eat like on Fridays or like today is Tuesday or we do something for the two of us. Maybe on a Tuesday we'll celebrate uh, while we are fellowshipping with one another. You know what I mean? Making it about a fun time. Because food is celebrating. Well, Tuesday is usually almost on my date day. Right? Yeah. And then... Uh... Friday, we're going into Sabbath. Yeah, Friday, we're going into Sabbath. So we'll have something special going into uh, the Sabbath. But anyway, back to the prosper being in health. So I think the number one thing God said, if you're going to be in health, you might as well prosper, and you might as well be blessed, right? So you know how a lot of times we tithe and we, and we give, uh, but the Bible says purpose in your heart, what you're going to give, right? So it shouldn't be something that, when you get to church and they say John three sixteen, so I believe God, I believe we're about to get three hundred sixteen dollars. You say, okay, I'm gonna get three hundred sixteen dollars. John three sixteen. It should be something that you purpose in your heart. And it should not be a necessity, according to the scripture. So God did establish this during the twenty one days that on Saturdays we would establish what we're gonna give, and also we would offer up our tithes. And we would transfer our savings. Because, you know, sometimes it could be through the week. Because we have Monday meetings of the mind where we uh, 
go over money and do all that together. But to actually sit doing Shabbat on the weekend and praying our tithe confession of our tithes, mm -hmm. and then what you're going to save, you actually transfer to your savings, mm -hmm. making it a habit and not just a happenstance. Because I heard a preacher say one time, he said, the reason why a lot of people don't receive the blessing from the tithe is because they bucket plump. He said they've never prayed over it. They never purposed in their heart what they're going to give. So to take the time each week to offer up and to honor God what I've had and offered was was awesome. So I felt like God would say, let's establish this first so that you can truly be blessed. Because you, you have to help. It's kind of like you're putting the cart before the horse. Because what is your help if you don't, if you're not blessed, so to speak? And I'm not talking about just monetarily blessed because we know a lot of people who don't tithe are monetarily blessed but the bible said that the uh blessing of the lord it maketh rich added and no it sorrow. added no sorrow with it so that's the blessing you're looking for the blessing of the lord that's making rich and added no sorrow with it and the blessing of health and wealth everything balanced out yeah just the balance so that was uh a surprise habit that God gave us, right? Mm -hmm. So I think I'm going to do... We don't over, only just tie the tie, though. We pray the blessing of God over our... We, we talked about how we eat within the win, window, so it's intermittent fasting, but we pray the prayer over our intermittent fasting, mm -hmm. over our giving, over and our tithing, the, over, over the Sabbath. Right, over the Sabbath, right, and so, over the tithes, the and tithes then we, then the, we the uh, have our goals that we believe God for. So that's just part of some of the Sabbath. And we don't do the Sabbath because we feel like it's uh, a religious thing. We uh, actually rest. We actually rest. <laughs> God it's, knew what you need to rest, man. Yeah, it's nothing like knowing your house is shut down at sundown on Friday. And on tomorrow, nobody's getting up to cook. Nobody's getting up to clean. Nobody's getting up to go anywhere. It's just a day of relaxation besides giving our tithes, honoring God with our tithes and offering and doing our confession, which takes about 30 minutes. And the rest of the day is all about you resting. Because you know, the Bible said that the Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. Right. You know, we do stuff on that, go to church and stuff like that, but really it's supposed to be a rest day. Because Jesus created the earth in six days. On the seventh day, he rests. Right. Right. You know, sometimes, uh, you know, people are involved in what we call the rat race. Are they making a living or they're striving to increase no matter in what area. But you got to take the time for recovery and for rest. It's a vital part. He said, come on to me, all you that are heavy laden, and, and I'll give you rest. So it's the will of God. I used to always say, it's not seeing the nap. It ain't right. seeing the rest, you know what I'm saying? So it's like you got to let your body recover, even from a standpoint of uh, working out and everything else, right? Your, your body right. got to recover. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to share one more on this video, and then we'll save some for another video. We sell business. So that's the day we can go and source and get things for 25% off. But not only that, the best part about it is because on Tuesdays, we normally would eat out and celebrate each other anyway. But he showed us that now that is tax deductible. Yeah, because we are doing the business. Out doing the business. I, I want to add one that's just personal, though. Can I have one personal? Yeah. And I, again, this is another one that uh, it's kind of a twofold, but it's accomplished the same goal. Mm -hmm. Drinking water the first oh yeah that was thing big. of the morning you, know you yeah because yeah, I would get up have that coffee I love to have my coffee or a shot of apple cider vinegar or whatever but but the bottom line is uh, the man of God said hey y'all need to get y'all need to drink your water anymore uh, ah man of God I've been saying it for ten years okay drink <laughs> your water first drink your water first and so uh, but I get up and get my cup of coffee. So anyway, I went through the process of, first of all, adding the water and drinking the glass of water before I drink my coffee. 
and also uh, using the dairy in my coffee. I put in the cheese yeah. and dairy products. Yeah, and that's something we believe in God for, too. So if you do in the past, you were lactose intolerant. And so, you know, you, if you are lactose intolerant and you love dairy, you know you can take lactase, which is the enzyme that usually is kind of depleted, that you can't eat dairy products. You can definitely do that. Uh, that definitely helps because we went through that. You just couldn't eat ice cream or anything. Mm -hmm. It just goes straight to the throat. We know that for sure lactase will definitely help you with that. But anyway, let's go back. We just talked about, I guess we did about three. We talked about mm -hmm. getting rid of the snacks, right? We talked about establishing our uh, intermittent fasting habits back, not eating after dinner. And, oh, actually, we gave you a little nugget <laughs> of how not to be tempted by those snacks by watching your programs on Netflix or if you have the ability to record the games or something to watch things that's recorded, you can fast forward through the commercials and limit that temptation. Right. And also we talked about the fact that God established uh, our offering up our tithes and offering and transferring our savings on Saturday while we are observing the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. And also we talked about the fact that he made us aware of on Tuesdays to go ahead and celebrate the two of us because it's totally tax deductible as we source for our online business. That's PursueOwnPassion.com pursue on own <laughs> passion.com or you can check us out on pursue on passion uh ebay and poshmark as well right those are our resale uh platforms ebay and uh poshmark but uh new items uh gospel tees is pursue on passion.com so and last but not least on his person one of his personal goals drinking that water before coffee and I'm so excited about that because I used to get on to him about drinking that water first get all your organs lubricated and ready to take on something in the morning so that's all we're going to talk about at this time when we come back we'll talk about maybe some more personal goals between the both of us so remember that you are happy healthy wealthy fit, and, and forgiven God, God bless, bless. I'm sorry.